Hey guys, here's a quick video on how to um, basically get more calls organically. So here's a program we use called CallRail. This allows you to pretty much track every phone call and you can even do contact forms with this thing. But what you can see, um, you know, even with it starting to slow down with September, um, you know, this week's been a little bit slower, but today so far we have 26 calls, um, yesterday 37, um, you know, last Tuesday we had 60, 53, like it's crazy. But the nice part with this is you can find out exactly where they're calling from. So like we have for my salesman, um, special phone number for that, calls before hitting the website. That's basically for the uh, Google Maps section. Um, drop off emails. So these are the emails after they do the my salesman, they get automatically uploaded into um, Sorry, they get automatically uploaded into active campaign, which is like, you know, basically a drip campaign for emails uh, Call extension. This is Google Ads my salesman lawn signs like you can pretty much do it for whatever but the one thing I wanted to show you is the source Now um, helps if I do the right one uh, where is the tracking number? Oh, there we go. Sorry. So the calls before hitting website, we're going to apply that. If you can see for the last 30 days, there's been 369 phone calls just from this. Okay. Now, if you do for like this year, It's going to take a little bit, 30, almost 3,300 phone calls. This is all from people that, you know, they search, you know, fence company near me. And then what they're going to do is when you come down here, you know, this is an ad, so this wouldn't count. But basically because we're showing up first, and the reason why we're showing up first a lot of times is because we have 126 reviews out of 4.9. And Google, you know, they're, you know, it's a business. So they want to give the people the best experience. So they're, you know, if they're looking for a service, you're automatically going to be added, um, you know, or shown first if you have more reviews than anyone else, as well as the quality of the reviews. So, you know, first tip is to get your review count up. You know, the closest, you know, they have 63. The next closest, there's one company with like 70. So anyway, the other thing that you have to do is when you go into the Google My Business, actually it's just called Google Business. Sign in. So the other thing that you should be doing with this that's really important is um, the photos, okay? You should be adding as many photos as you can. Actually, I've been pretty lax in this just because we've been so busy, um, but I'm gonna be getting back into this. The one of the key things that does help as well with this, when you're posting the, um, the, you know, the photos, that's helpful in everything, but unless you have these geotagged, then it's not going to help as much because when you have a geotagged um, image and geotag basically means that there's um, it'll show where the location is that it was taken if you don't have this enabled on your phone and a lot of people don't just because with you know google tracking you and everything else it's not as relevant to you know it, it's not as relevant to google but if you have something you know a town here is belmar if you have photos that are geotagged for Belmar, they're going to be highly, you know, more relevant than just someone else's that just has a picture of a vinyl fence. So if they type in vinyl fence Belmar, if you have geotagged images and they're labeled as um, vinyl fences and they're geotagged in Belmar, you're going to show up. OK, the way you want to geotag this stuff, it's pretty simple. It's a program I use called Geo IMGR and you just type that in and you'll find it. What you're going to do is you, you come to the screen. It's very simple. You're going to pick the image. I'm just picking whatever just for the hell of it. You have the image. It'll tell you that there's no um, tags for it. So what you want to do is you go in the search box and you're going to type in, you know, Belmar, New Jersey. So what it does is it gives you the latitude and lat latitude. Okay. So what you're going to do is write, click this button, write exif tags. Okay, 
And then what you're going to do after you're done, and also what I would do is name this. So it would be, you know, Belmar NJ Fence Installation. And actually, it should be like Vinyl Fence, whatever your image is. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to download that image. So now that image has those tags. And then basically what you do is you go into Google business or Google my business, whatever you want to call it. You would add, add photos. You click from the computer and then you would pick the one that was just saved. And this I would actually rename as well. So you would rename this, you know, Belmar. You want to do this little um, hyphen deal, New Jersey vinyl fence installation okay and then you would open that up and then you would load that thing in there i'm going to go through and delete this just because that's not the right thing so anyway you want to go through and do that for all of your images it will help you like i said if you just look at this we have 3200 phone calls and this didn't even track um or actually yeah we did put it in for the year um, but yeah, this is, this will really help you out. So give that a shot. And again, oh, just to show this real quick with call route, you can set this thing up to record your phone calls. If you want to do that, the other thing that it will do, which is pretty cool. That's pro. Oh wait, I don't want to go in there. Sorry. Tracking. Of course I'm messing this up. Oh, there we go. Sorry, it's been a while with this. So what you can do, there's also, um, you can forward the calls, um, which that's what you're gonna do with the, because you're setting up different phone numbers for all these anyway. But the other thing you do is these call flows. So what a call flow is, it will basically show, you know, when they call, you can set up to, you know, you know press one for this, press two for this, plus press three for this. So this is what we have for repairs, installs, and book um, book installations. So if they press one, it's basically telling them that we do not do repairs. So if you get a ton of phone calls for your repairs and you just don't do them, then you can set it up for this. And it'll say, sorry, we don't do repairs. Then, you know, if they press two, you would just click on this so it'll show what happens it'll you know it'll give the message so depending on what you want to do in the time period of year so when we were getting a ton of phone calls you know we were averaging 50 to 80 what we end up doing is made it so they could not get in touch with us unless they use my salesman so what you would do is you know with this is with this call forwarding and everything else with the options you know when they press two for an installation what it'll do is say you know you need to use my salesman first and then after that, there'll be a special number in there that you call to actually speak to a uh, representative of the company. So obviously it was said nicer than that, but you know, get an idea. Then the final one for if they were looking to uh, book their installation, then that would just get rerouted to our person that handles that. So anyway, this is what we use. It's super helpful um, and just gives you a way to track everything and uh, makes life easier and know where your money's spent. And, oh, and you can record the conversations. I think I mentioned it, but I don't remember. So you can pick and choose which ones you want to record. Um, it's not all free. So like, you know, with our volume of calls, we don't record everything just cause I would spend a couple hundred or a thousand plus a month on, you know, recordings. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know.